Hello there, Glossier Sundays are back. Finally time to talk through a range of Glossier makeup that launched this year. Some of these new releases aren't so new anymore, but hey, I'm Australian. I'm used to a Glossier delay until I can stock up in the US. Then some are very new, only a week or a month old, and have already popped up on my channel, but I thought I'd group everything together in a concise way. Plus, I wanted to celebrate my birthday with you, which if you're watching this video, the day it's uploaded was yesterday in Australia and today in the US and UK, so I'm sharing the Glossier love. Stay tuned for details at the end of the video. Let's get into it, running through each product fairly briefly, but let me know if you'd like more detailed reviews in future. Glossier Pro Tip launched less than a week ago, but you can find a more in-depth review on my channel that I got to upload on launch day because I was sneakily given one early to test out. This is their first liquid liner launch with a very fine brush tip. Jet black color, long lasting, dries matte incredibly quickly in only a few seconds. As I mentioned in that video, I personally don't think Pro Tip does anything that different to other brush liquid liners I've tried, but some headlines have said best eyeliner ever, so I'll let you be the judge. Please report back if you've tried it. Future Dew launched in mid-October. Two new releases only a few weeks apart, much closer than usual. This one is technically skincare, but I included it here because it serves more of a makeup purpose for me. It's a serum oil hybrid that's designed to give your skin a dewy, healthy glow as if you've just done your skincare routine. The most commonly asked question on my Future Dew review, how is it different to your skincare routine then? The answer is lasting power. Oils and serums sink into your skin and you lose that hydrated look, but this lasts a lot longer to keep that dewy glow going. The oils in the formula do have some skincare benefits, but I see this is more of a glowy base product to apply before my morning makeup routine or pinpoint as a highlighter for a really glossy skin Katie Jane Hughes look. Glossierbalm.com is where it all began for my channel just over two years ago. We've come a long way, but there are still balms to talk about. Let's start with Berry, the most recent drop, just at the right time in early August so I could grab it in New York. This has a great dark, deep berry shade in the tube and applies as a great wash of crushed, blackberry, sheer purple. The scent and taste is quite strong, sort of like blackcurrant lollies or even berry jelly. It's yummy. I feel like it's something from my childhood that I can't work out. What does it taste like to you? Meanwhile, mangobalm.com arrived in March this year, the perfect antidote to the end of summer in Australia when mango isn't in season for breakfast anymore. It's described as a coral tint, but has a sort of pale peach look in the tube, and I don't find this tints my lips much at all. The colour's far more subtle than berry. It smells just right, but tastes more like mango ice cream to me than the real deal. I personally don't find balm.com very hydrating because there's a lot of petroleum in it, which does doesn't hydrate, but works well as a barrier to lock in moisture or block out wind and cold. But I love the flavours, they're fun to use, so there's something I reach for when my lips are already in good condition. Moving on to their lip gloss, which saw two new shades launch in July. Really getting back into lip gloss this year, so it couldn't have come at a better time. Red made its debut on Michelle Obama, no less, and it's so bright in the tube like the zips on Glossier pink pouches. But interestingly, a bit disappointed by the lack of colour on. I've tried other red glosses, like one from Nude Sticks in my recent Sephora video, that pack a lot more punch than this. It sort of looks like more of a deep pink on my lips, not noticeably red. Holographic, on the other hand, makes much more of a statement in a different way. This is already a very high shine formula, but this shade takes it to another level. Teeny tiny, opalescent, slightly pink flecks don't make your lips look glittery at all, but catch the light in the most amazing way for a super glassy, wet look. To me, this formula is slightly on the thicker side of gloss, but still really comfortable, not sticky. Brow Flick is probably one of my favourites of the 2019 bunch. I've been using Boy Brow, their brow pomade, non-stop for four years, but this is its big sister, a microfine detailing pen that's a brush tip alternative to an eyebrow pencil. I have quite bold brows anyway, so I don't need much, but my friend Harry Makes It Up applied this on me and I loved it. Absolutely perfect to get really specific and add extra hair-like strokes to any gaps in my brows. Katie Jane Hughes does almost daily Instagram tutorials with this and it's quite remarkable just how realistic it looks. Finally, Lash Slick launched way back in May 2018 and I bought it last year, but it's something I haven't had a chance to talk about yet. This is the brand's first mascara designed for an eyelash extensions without the extensions look. I personally like a lot of volume. Chanel La Volume is my holy grail mascara. Not too clumpy or too heavy, but a noticeable boost. So initially, Lash Slick was not the formula for me. It's so, so subtle that I honestly looked like I had no mascara on at all, which is perfect if you're going for a super natural look. But much to my surprise, very recently when I asked two friends with great mascara on what they were wearing, it was this. Turns out with a lot of building it up and really working it in close to the lash line, it does make a difference. So now I can see more of the length and curl people rate about. How do you find it? Before we go, as I mentioned, I wanted to celebrate my birthday and thank you for another amazing year of support for my content by sharing some of my favourite Glossier goodies and a couple of these new launches too. My birthday's on the 9th, 9 is my lucky number, and 9 of my go-to Glossier products are in this new giveaway. I've listed them all below so you can read more about each product on the website or learn more in my previous reviews. There's Boy Brow in Clear, my all-time favourite brow tamer in a transparent shade so it will work for any of you. Cloud Paint, their cheery cream blushes in Dusk, Dusty Brown, and Puff, a baby pink that's lovely on the eyes 
Size 2, another Katie Jane Hughes trick. Generation G, their laid back sheer matte lipsticks. This is the latest formula in like a your lips but better soft pink and zip, a bright warm red that you can easily tone down to tint your lips. Their lip gloss in red for a hint of the deep pink you just saw in this video. Glossier Play Vinyl Lip Lip, one of my favorites from their sister line, a creamy, pigmented, high shine, super comfortable lip lacquer in baby, a bright classic red. You know I love red lipstick, had to include a few versions here. And my two favorite Glossier Play Color Slide Eye Pencil Shades, Jumbo, a bright matte orange, and Candyland, my go-to peachy pink with a hint of shimmer to brighten up your eyes. That was the initial plan, born on the 9th, nine products, but let's share some new launches too. Berrybalm.com and Mangobalm.com will also be going to two winners as well. All packaged up inside a Glossier pink pouch, safe and sound to be sent to three of you anywhere in the world. Head to my Instagram at Matilda on video for details and instructions on how to enter. Sadly, since YouTube took away their private messaging feature and I sometimes have trouble seeing replies myself, Instagram's just the most reliable place to contact and communicate with winners, so that's where I always run giveaways. Interested to hear what you think of Glossier's new makeup arrivals? What have you tried? What's on your wish list? What have you passed on? What are you hoping to see them bring out next? I'm planning to cover some other Glossier skincare launches soon and update some older videos like Balm.com and Lip Gloss to compare these new shades. I'll leave my big review playlist for the brand listed below. And don't forget to enter that Glossier giveaway. Oh, alliteration and it rhymes. Perfect. Thanks for watching. See you next time.